Okay, it doesn't look like much now, but Environment Canada promised that the sky was going to clear by noon. So even though the light really wasn't very good, I stopped by Bazano Dam. I knew there'd be geese there, and there were. They were sitting there in the blowing mist, and something got their attention. You know, I gotta admit that the pictures weren't all that exciting. But I'd been driving for two hours already and hadn't shot anything. On a normal day, I would just drive right past cattle. But these ones were hanging out in a patch of cattails, and, uh, well, it looked a little bit interesting. And no real excuse for photographing these deer. I mean, itchy shutter finger maybe, but, uh, yeah. These ones were a little more interesting. A lot of bucks in this group. But as those first two hours became the next five hours, I started photographing anything. And anything turned out to be mostly deer. They were pretty much everywhere I looked. So as the weather forecast continued lying to me, and the sky and the landscape stayed sheathed in gray, I was kind of jumping for joy that these common critters were around to give me something to aim my camera at. No, they weren't the best pictures I've ever taken, but they were something. But shortly after I passed these guys, I noticed that the sky to the west was, well, it was starting to clear. There's a little bit of blue out behind these cottonwood trees. And beyond these rabbit tracks, and above this old farmstead, the sky was clearing. But there still wasn't much to photograph. This train was okay. But these white tails in that warm afternoon sunlight, they made a picture. So thank you, my cervid friends. Thank you for being so common. And thank you for being so photogenic. And thank you for saving my day. <laughs>